In the Kitchen is brought to you by Food Services of America. Hi everyone, we are in the kitchen today with Chef Travis from Iron Goat. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome Thank you. back. You're kind <laughs> of becoming a crummy, yeah. you, right? Yeah, I was just here a week ago. So this is <laughs> This is awesome. It's because you keep cooking good food, and so we keep eating well. We like that. Uh, you're always welcome. You're always welcome as well. We have Chef okay. Alexa with hey. FSA. Iron Goat is pretty awesome. Iron Goat is pretty awesome. I told them they come with a bevy of beverages. I like that. Uh, in, well, I like that in demand. And, <laughs> and, and an award-winning fish. What do you got here today? What are you cooking for us today? So I got a pan-seared Atlantic salmon uh, on a cauliflower puree with mm. avocado salsa verde, uh, ginger lime beurre blanc, and some, uh, some fresh dill for garnish on the top. Uh, this was our highest seller uh, during restaurant week and also the dish that won Iron Goat Brewery Chef Battle 2019. So it's, uh, it's definitely got some clout behind it and I had to, I had to give it, you know, it had to be an option for the public to have. Well, so. it had to be an option too because your dad saw you win the competition and wanted to try it, right? Yeah, so he was he was pretty curious about the plate and really wanted to try it. So that's one of the reasons I put it on the menu. Nice. And I knew they were going to come in. And actually it happened that pretty much all of my family came in on Thursday um, uncoordinated. My grandparents walked in, and then my other grandparents walked in, and then my cousins walked in, and then my parents walked in. Wow. And it was, it was totally <laughs> just uncoordinated, and they, they just all sat down and all had a good dinner. So That's good, Carmen. Yeah. Did they all have the salmon? Yes, pretty much. Oh, nice. Yeah. So how are you going to cook that? Is that just a little bit of oil in a pan? Yes, yeah, so I, just, I just got a little canola oil in the pan there. Let's turn up the heat. And because uh, you want it nice and hot, to you get want that it nice. Sear on there. Yeah, and if it's not nice and hot, your salmon is just going to stick, especially in a pan like this. If you have like a Teflon pan, of course, it wouldn't do that. But you mm -hmm. need you need it to be nice and hot. So in the pan here, I've got salt and pepper and a chili lime seasoning from Spiceology in Spokane. So we'll just put that right in the pan and let it sear up. Oh yeah, that's a nice little sizzle. You Ooh, can like see how that. fast that salmon you can is going to cook yep. in that pan too. And you do not want to overcook it because then it just becomes this dry, bland Yeah, fish, and that's, right? that's not mm -hmm. good. I mean, no. you, just, you pretty much don't ever want to overcook your protein. So you let it brown up on one side, and while that's going, we'll start, uh, we'll start the plating for the, for the salmon. The for you, and chef. talk to me, Chef. You know, one of the things is I, I'm from Alaska, so grew up eating a lot of salmon. We cook a lot of fish. And one of the things you could do so easily with fish is overdress it. Right, oh. and just put too much you on You know it. what, the, the natural flavors of seafood need to really come through. I love what Chef's done here. A nice little platform with a cauliflower that's gonna have some sweetness to it. And then just that richness of the salmon. I mean, there's a good amount of fat in a piece yes, of salmon. Right? And that fat's gonna carry all that flavor all around. Ooh. And uh, that nice little nice dry rub that went on there is going to be just that hint of flavor. And then he's got this amazing salsa verde. Okay, what's in that? Avocado salsa verde. A lot of people think that that might be a Hispanic thing, like to mm -hmm. tomatillos right? and such. It's actually kind of a twist on Italian. Yeah, kind of a twist on a, an Italian salsa verde. But instead of using mint, I use cilantro because of the flavor profile going on the salmon. Yeah. It's kind of geared towards a uh, southwest flavor profile, cumin, oregano, garlic, cilantro. So I, I kind of put that in there. Since there's avocado anyway, I just wanted it all to be kind of cohesive right. and all work together. So all of those flavors are also in the cauliflower puree. They're also in the ginger lime beurre blanc. And so it just, it really makes everything work together and, and play very nicely. Mm. Let me ask you this. When you go into your go, what kind of vibe do people feel? Well, we're looking at some video now of the restaurant. What do they, what do they feel when they go into well, your we, restaurant? Well, we, we kind of purposefully make it uh, a relaxed environment. Mm -hmm. We don't take reservations. We don't really have, uh, you know, kind of order your food, order your drink, finish it up, tip your, tip your waiter, and then go home. We want everybody to be able to hang out. We want everybody to feel comfortable. So it's definitely it's definitely more of a relaxed uh, kind of environment than you would than you would find at maybe a fine dining restaurant. Let me uh, take a look right now. If you want to just a nice relaxed atmosphere with fantastic food, uh, here's the address. Join them at Iron Goat. We say thank you for coming in. Let's take a final look at the beautiful plated uh, salmon that you have sitting on. What is that below? A uh, cauliflower, cauliflower puree. puree. Mm -hmm. Topped with a little avocado verde. All right, mm -hmm. you're watching Creme in the Kitchen. Oh, that's beautiful. We'll be right back. In the Kitchen has been brought to you by Food Services of America.